begin tonight, though, with funeral services for a nine-year-old Oklahoma girl. They're set for tomorrow morning. The fourth grader died after she was injured on a playground at her Wyandotte Elementary School. That accident is causing other school districts to take action. Two News reporter Jason Grubbs found some of the same equipment in this area. Jason? Well, Russ, the X-Wave is a pretty basic design. It's a lot like a teeter-totter connected in the middle here. Kids ride it up and down. This one's at a city park in Jinx. It's still in service, but there are plenty of others in this area that are off limits tonight. Wyandotte fourth grader Alyssa Avila died last week after an accident involving a piece of playground equipment called an X-Wave. The nine-year-old fell off and was hit in the head while trying to get back on. As of Tuesday afternoon, the state medical examiner's office hadn't completed its autopsy report. At this point, we're not, we're not able to rule out it was a medical condition aggravated by, by just the initial fall off the, the equipment. So it's too early to speculate. It's really the same thing, except it looks like a wave of water. Owasso Superintendent Dr. Clark Ogilvie is one of several Oklahoma school administrators who are waiting to hear more information. He called all of his principals over the weekend, and he found out that three of the elementaries have the X-Wave. Ader, Hodson, and Smith. The equipment has been in place for about two years. What I instructed our principals to do, the ones that had the piece of equipment Monday morning, I said put it off limits right now, uh, pending further investigation. The X-Wave is certified by the International Playground Equipment Manufacturers Association, a group school districts and cities look to when making purchases. Regardless of the equipment or what piece of equipment it happened on, it's just the fact that something like this happens is a terrible thing. Greg and Don Parks have a son and daughter about the same age as Alyssa. The family likes coming to the city playground in Jinx. It, too, is equipped with an X-Wave. The Parks say Alyssa's death is a reminder of how close children have to be watched. It's a tragedy what happened to a little right. girl. Right. Wouldn't want that to happen to my little girl, of no, course, of course, but uh, we're not going to hide from the world. And funeral services for that little girl, Alyssa, are set for 9 o'clock tomorrow morning at the Wyandotte High School Gymnasium. Reporting live from Jinx tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you. Jason, thanks. Now, as of 10 o'clock tonight, 2 News had not heard back from the city of Jinx about its plans for the X-Wave. The Tulsa Parks Department tells us it does not have the equipment at its playgrounds. It's been three